Purple Beast here doing another install today. Today we're doing a five channel amplifier and simple first on this uh, Chevy Avalanche. We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. What we're going to show you in this video is how to all the, run all the wiring. We're going to show you how to install the amplifier and uh, get your subwoofers hooked up as well. Now within this install we're going to show you more of a step-by-step -step tutorial. Please note with this install it's already had a previous amplifier um, installed. So it's going to be a little bit different but we're going to still show you the techniques needed to run all the cables efficiently. Now the first thing we're going to do is run power from our battery up here under the hood all the way to behind our second row right in the middle. That's where we're going to mount our amplifier. Okay, here we are under the hood. Now our battery is in the uh, left hand back side corner on the passenger side. Positive obviously is right here. Negative is tucked away in the back. A couple of ways to hook up your positive wire on your battery. Now of course you can go to the stud and nut, but mind you that is actually your um, nut that tightens the actual terminal of your connector onto the, the post of the battery. So that may not be the best solution. Now as an alternative, depending on the amperage you're pulling, you can actually run your power wire right to the stud. Now this is kind of broken here, but this cover comes off. I can actually move it for you a little bit and there is a positive stud. If you follow that wire down along, it actually goes directly to our battery. So a um, couple of options to hook that up. We went, or at least the previous installer, went to that stud. And then from that stud, we went into our fuse holder. A little dusty. And then from the fuse holder, which is mounted on the back uh, firewall here along the factory wire and you run that wire now a previous installer went all the way down as a 4 gauge all the way down up underneath and then we'll show you exactly where it comes up basically by the feet of the driver um, there's a grommet there on the floor alternatively you could almost run that power wire following this factory loom and you can make a small slit in this uh, grommet here be very careful of the factory wiring wiring as you can see here somebody's already um, made that slit to run a wire through so you can do the same all right so we're up underneath the dash here and now if you went through the factory grommet there at the firewall your power wire would have come out right here remember that white wire that was going through well this is the other end coming through the firewall like I said, you'd make a little slit on both ends, being extremely careful of the factory wiring and running that power wire through. Now, alternatively, as you saw here, uh, the previous install went through a different grommet. So, using your panel tool to actually get access to where this came through, these panels are just held on with clips. Now, using that panel tool or your fingers, you can actually get up underneath these panels just by popping them off here, being very gentle. Now, if they haven't been off before, they may be a little tight. But there's our power wire here. Now if you pull this up just a hair, you can see where that came through. Um, again, just make a small slit so you can run the wire through the grommet, um, allowing that grommet to seal around the wire uh, so there's no leaks or any issues with that. Now from there, as you can see here, you can run that power wire along the kick panel here. Now that continues all the way down for this portion to get past the B pillar, you can actually pull this back and that allows you a little bit of space to kind of fish the wire through. Then on the back side here of the B pillar, same thing. Just pop these off. These have been off before. As you can see, they come off super easy. But again, you pull the weather stripping and here's the other end. You can fish the wire through, continue along. Now from this point, you can just tuck the wire to, if that's easier for you. Back up underneath here. And we came out at this point. There's our blue power wire from the front. Now obviously being an install already in, it's been taped off for our safety. So that's how you run the power wire. Our box sits on each side of our amp 
There's two 10 inch subs, which these little shell amounts. So our amplifier is going to go right here on the carpet in the middle on the floor. It just kind of attaches to the carpet. You can either use uh, Velcro or actually put screws through. It's up to you. Um, also, as an alternative, you can cut a piece of MDF, carpet it, and mount the amp to that as well in that location. So that's power wire. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about the ground. All right, we just came over to the other side of the truck. Now, um, there's many ways to actually do the ground on this truck. You can either go to one of these bolts. There's a lot of bolts here on the truck. Um, if you choose the bolt method, make sure whatever location you bolt the ground wire to, the paint's been cleaned off um, and it's a direct bolt into the body of the truck. Um, that just ensures the best connectivity. Now, alternatively, that, that ground wire is that gray guy right there at the end of my finger. And he ran it over to this location here. This is another alternative. Some of you may not like that method um, as it's not the best connection. It's totally up to you. The paint's all been cleaned off. It's bare metal. And using three self-tappers, he self-tapped it to the actual um, body of the truck. Now, again, uh, an alternative would be to cut a hole, um, put a bolt and nut there. Um, or using an existing bolt on the truck to mount your ground. So that covers the power and ground. Next, you need RCAs and speaker wire and a remote turn on wire. Now, depending on the type of amplifier that you use, if you're using an amp that just powers both subs and nothing else, um, really all you need is a two channel pair of RCAs which go to your head unit. Um, if you purchased an amplifier kit, your kit should come with everything that you'll need, including RCAs. Now, if you're running a five channel amplifier, which we will be doing in this video, um, we're going to also have to run, besides speaker wire for your subs, speaker wire for your interior door speakers. This Avalanche has speakers in all four doors. Um, but we're going to show you here a little bit later in the video how to run that speaker wire effectively. Last thing here, our remote turn on wire is actually bundled with our speaker wire. We're using uh, about 20 feet of nine wire conductor cable. Uh, we'll show you what that looks like here on the bench. Um, but really that's where we're gonna start our install today. We're gonna get all this wire cleaned up and really go from that point. Now here we are at the bench. Um, the components we're using besides the power wire and the ground wire, which you've already seen and previously installed, we have speaker wire. Now we're using the Stinger 9 conductor speaker cable. It's about 20 feet. We'll show you what that looks like. We actually have an unboxing already of that on the channel. We'll put in down in the description the link to that unboxing. We're using this Pioneer 5 channel amplifier. Uh, this amplifier powers both subwoofers and four interior door speakers. Pretty cool. And then finally we have six channel RCAs. This allows us to carry the signal all bundled in one cable. Um, from our radio to our amplifier. Now, like I said, in addition to this, typically with an amplifier kit, you would have the power wire and a ground wire as well. So we're gonna get these all pulled apart um, and kind of get it all prepped for the truck. All right, so we got everything pulled apart here. Now, if you're interested in looking more into this channel amplifier, I do have an unboxing on the channel. Also check the description, I'll have a link there for you. But here's our speaker wire and our RCA cables. The way that we're going to hook this amplifier up in this truck, our RCA cables, one end will plug into our RCA outputs on our radio. Now the other end, let's say this is the other end, will plug in the inputs on our amplifier. So that takes care of our RCAs. Now our speaker wire output, after the signal has been amplified, this area here on our amplifier, um, these are our speaker outputs, this is our sub output. This nine conductor cable is really nice, and let me show you why. If you pull this apart, we've actually stripped the outside shield off a little bit for you. It exposes these wires. Now these wires are all color coded um, identically to aftermarket wiring, wiring colors, meaning white is your front left, gray is your front right, green is your rear left, and then purple is your rear right. right. Now you can use the center wire either as an amplifier turn on wire, one end will hook into our speaker wire outputs. This is the other end of this wire. 
This will tap into our main wiring harness uh, behind the radio. Okay, here we are in the truck. And we have our amplifier underneath the uh, middle rear seat. We have our RCAs hooked in on this side. We have our power and ground hooked up. We have our speaker wire hooked up. And that little blue one there is also hooked up to our remote turn on wire. So our amplifier is in. We'll clean up the wiring here in just a moment. We'll need to hook up our subwoofers, one and two, to that output. And then I started running our RCAs and our speaker wire up underneath the carpet. Comes out here and then I've taped them every foot to 18 inches or so. And I'm gonna be running it underneath the kick panels on the other side of the truck on our way over to our radio. All right, so from our amplifier, we ran ahead and ran everything as we showed before. Um, as you can see, it kind of pokes out there. Um, the speaker wire and the RCAs run along. So now we can reassemble these panels. Along the front here, we pulled the, the front kick out. And then we also pulled our glove box out. And the way to do so is there's just this little tab up underneath. You push it up and it releases the glove box so it comes down. We're gonna go up behind the glove box right to the radio. So next here, we're gonna go ahead and get the radio popped out. We'll show you how to do that. And uh, we're gonna connect our speaker wire and RCAs and then we're just about done. All right. All right, so here we are. So we have our speaker wire that goes from our radio into your wiring harness to the doors. But since we're amplifying it from the amplifier, we're gonna go ahead and cap off our radio speaker output and then strip these wires once again and connect our output from our amplifier right into the main wiring harness which goes to the doors. Just remember uh, any any higher than the about 75 watts RMS you're gonna run new want to run new wire but this will work perfectly for now. Okay, now we'll want to go ahead and tape these ends up that we cut. Alright, so we went ahead and got the radio all back in. Make sure you test everything just to ensure it works before you reassemble the dash. But at this point, we're going to clean up the wiring in the back and uh, do a final test. Alright, good to go. As you can see here, got our amp all cleaned up and mounted. Got both 10 inch Pioneer's shell mounts all mounted. Everything pulled back behind the seat, which is great. Runs all back together. Thanks for watching you guys. Hopefully this uh, install made sense to you. If you have any questions about what we did here, just go ahead and post a comment below. 
Like I said before, uh, go ahead and check the description. We're going to have helpful links, unboxings of uh, uh, some of the stuff that we've done in this truck um, and uh, some of the other installs that we've done on this truck. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate your support, and we will see you in the next video.